Hey everybody and welcome back to week two. I hope that you were able to get on to PPI to pass and register. Most of you have. I think I've, I have 24, 25 people that are showing up on my screen here. So if you're one of the few, I think there's maybe another five registered in the course that have not registered. If you're one of the few that have not registered, make sure you go to PPI to pass the student menu, use the group code, get the $95 access and sign up. Uh, if you are one of the people that signed up and have been trying to take tests, uh, or diagnostic exams would have get, been get, given maybe an error that looks something like this. I had one student email me this and I guess a handful of you had been trying to get on at a particular time and this error came up. Forbidden, you don't have permissions to access this uh, access on the server. I, I got that at one point and I waited like five minutes and went back and it actually worked. So I don't know if that's something that's going to be persistent through the course, but PPI does have a way where you can uh, submit a ticket so if you have a problem go to your PPI to pass account and if you can't get to your PPI to pass, to pass account maybe take a screenshot of this and save it for later and, and submit it you know later when you have that problem especially if there are multiple people all sitting in the same room trying to do the same thing on different computers uh, using the same you know or different browsers that would be information that PPI would would it would be helpful for them so if you do have something like that that happens definitely you know submit a ticket or, or try again if it works great if it doesn't you know submit a ticket to PPI that's not something I can I can override or change that's through uh, the PPI to pass website so you know if you are having issues let me know otherwise there are some of you that have started to take the diagnostic exam so good job uh, for those of you that have taken it the next thing I want to point out is at, at NCES there is uh, the reference handbook so hopefully you guys have been able to download your reference handbook and and uh, can start using it because the notation is different if you look at the FE civil you know review manual or the ME civil review manual there I think chapter 0.5 like what right in the introduction it talks about the units it talks about the nomenclature it talks about the different variables and this is something that you will wanna really get used to okay so this is something that you'll wanna have up on your screen if you're doing the any of the tests or quizzes or that sort of thing so that's what I would recommend you to do again so the other thing that I mentioned was I wanted to give a grading update so the grading is gonna change just a little bit based on what's on the syllabus but I, I want to be real clear because this is you know if you're looking at my screen here what I can see is who the group is what quizzes you've done in standard mode what quiz generated what quizzes you've done in practice mode uh, practice exams and diagnostic exams so what I originally said is you get a grade of an A in a course it's, it's basically gonna be based on the work that you do. So uh, number one, if you complete all these diagnostic exams, I'll, I'll be able to see that. I'm not really that worried uh, about what your grades are. Some of them will be two out of 10. Some of them will be eight or 10 out of 10, you know. Hopefully you get ethics 10 out of 10. I really hope so. But you know, some of the, they will vary, but hopefully you take them and you can see where the weak points are, where the strong points are, and that'll help inform your studying. So in order to get an A, you'll have to complete all the diagnostic exams. The second thing that you'll need to do to get an A is to complete at least one practice exam. And you know what I'll say? If you can do a practice exam and get, oh, 70% right, that, that's, you know, sit down in one, in one sitting, do six hours or whatever it is that you, you get for the real exam, and get 70% right, then, you know what, you can get... Um, an A or an A plus, you know, and, and that'll be great. Uh, but in addition, what I want you to do is I, I know you're not going to be able to really do that unless you do some practice. So what I want you to do is complete at least 10 quizzes. So I'll be able to see this, you know, in the quiz generator mode, uh, the standard mode. I'll be able to see 10 quizzes from the quiz generator, various topics with 50% correct. So you are able to retake quizzes and take them over and, and do additional quizzes and that sort of thing. But I want you to have at least 10 on various topics, you can't just take 10 quizzes in ethics and say, you know, I got 100% on all of them. And and what I want you to do is to take various topics and be able to get through and, and work through those and uh, get, you know, 10, at least 10 with 50% correct. So that's about one a week, you know, for the course of the semester. So if you figure the diagnostic exams take a week or two, the, the quizzes about one a week, you know that, and then the practice exam you'll, you'll do in a week. That gets you, you know, 11, 12, 13, 14 weeks worth of work here. And we have a 15 week semester, so, well, 16 including finals, but that at least gives you kind of a guideline. So hopefully you're working out, you know, at least one quiz a week, maybe on the topic that we're studying. 
and then towards the end of the semester you can take that complete practice exam and hopefully you get a 70 percent and everything goes wonderfully so that's what i'm thinking for the grading I, I talked to a number of students that i saw either in office hours or around and uh, everybody seemed to be okay with that if you have issues with it uh, definitely come see me let me know uh, give me feedback and we'll go from there you know shoot me an email or whatever so in terms of topics what we're doing this week is this week I, I think you should focus on math probability and statistics so there are chapters posted on blackboard that i think it's chapters one through six of the of the review manual that correspond with math probability and statistics some of it is is you know it goes back to algebra from eighth grade or ninth grade uh, some of it it goes up all the way up to differential equations so it's it varies it's you know it, it can be tricky it can be uh, something that you kind of need to work through to remember how to do so like solving simultaneous sets of equations right that's something that was on the diagnostic exam so there's a spoiler if you haven't taken it but the uh, like solving simultaneous sets of equations right you set you can do elimination you can do substitution that sort of thing right it goes back to eighth ninth grade algebra right it's it's something that you, I know you can do but sometimes when you look at it on a test you sort of blank so going through the practice doing the work ahead of time and doing this this review is really going to help you kind of see where those areas are see where some of those things are uh, that you can work on so that's one of the things that i want to encourage you to do is is to look over those six chapters see if there's anything that really is a weak spot if there is you know definitely take a look at it in addition what you should do is you should work through some problems do a quiz uh, write down some issues that you're having or some things that you want to brush up on because this week in office hours i've talked to uh, charles satajov he's a lecturer in applied math and uh I mean, he's a happy guy. Look, you know, so um, he he's, he should be able to help with any questions this week. It, the office hours this this week will be on uh, the 31st on Thursday from 12:30 to 1:30 in Donovan Hall, 11:59. So, uh, you know, he he should be able to answer any of your math or probability or statistics questions. And uh, so, definitely bring questions that you have or bring problems from you know one of the tests or exams that you didn't understand and he'd be happy to go over them with you uh, if you do bring questions what we'll be able to do is probably record that session and post it I'm not sure we'll have to see how that works out but uh, hopefully we can do that so if you have questions on math probability statistics definitely focus on that review that take a quiz on it come on Thursday and get your questions answered and then for the week this is a checklist so checklist for the week uh, if you haven't already done so, sign up for the student access using the group code uh, SUNYSP19. Right, SUNYSP19, all caps. All right, so go there. Uh, the other thing is you, you take your and, and complete the diagnostic exams if you haven't done that yet. And next, review see if it's, or the review manual, chapters one through six. And last here, take a quiz on math, probability, and statistics. So, and ideally what you do is you get 50% right here on, on your quiz for math, probability, and statistics. You know, so hopefully that's what you can get done. At the end of the week, we'll see uh, Punk's Tony Phil, and hopefully he'll tell us that spring is on its way. But with spring comes a passing FE. So I, I wish you all the best as you're studying this week. And if you have questions, shoot me an email, and we'll go from there. So thanks. We'll talk to you soon.